why they decided to have a picnic here. And it was pretty hot and... I thought you were never going to get here. Don't let me interrupt. I'm just going to sit down and visit a minute. Thank you. Chip's turn next, Mr. O'Casey. Doreen is just telling us about an exciting picnic she and her family had last Sunday. Go on, Doreen. Well, we all finally decided to have a picnic here. And it was pretty hot. And, and this is a baseball field. Mm -hmm. Here, here's a sun, here's a tree, and there are some potato chips. And what does that interesting brown circle represent? Oh, that's where Daddy set his coffee cup down this morning. <laughs> Thank you very much, Doreen. And now, Chip is asked to be our show-and-tell person for today because he has a surprise for us. Chip, why don't you come up front and tell us about it? Okay. Come on, Bob, let's go. You find Boy, wait till you see what I got. Now, kids, here's the deal. Now, first, you must all close your eyes. Close yours, too, Doreen. You, too. <laughs> Chip and I have been training an animal over the weekend. Now, here's the game. I'll describe him to you, and you try to guess what he is. This animal has very strong back legs, and his front legs are very short. A dinosaur? Oh, no, I'm sure it's much smaller. Well, I'll say. And I can jump, too. A kangaroo? No, how could you get a kangaroo in a paper bag? Uh, this animal lives in the water, and you can also get around a little on the land. A turtle? No, but you're getting warm. It starts out as a tadpole. I know. A frog. Right. You're right. You see it? Let's see it. Yep, Chip and I caught ourselves a frog over the weekend. Did he give you any warts? Well, frogs don't give warts. Why, well, this frog is nice and gentle. Makes a fine pet. Why, well, he wouldn't hurt a fly. What do frogs eat, Mr. O'Casey? Flies. <laughs> so Chip named our frog, uh, Malcolm. Yeah, he blinks when I tell him to, and he jumps in my hands when I call him. Open the bag, Bob, and show him. In fact, he turned out to be smarter than us. We were dumb enough to put him in a cage, and he was smart enough to jump out. Open the bag, Bob. Here, you open it, Chip. He knew it wasn't any zoo where somebody would take care of him all the time. Jeepers, it's just my clunky old lunch. Didn't you find it? No, I didn't, Chip. And I felt real bad about it. Till I got to figuring uh, just how I'd feel if somebody had locked me in a cage just because I wanted to see me jump around and blink my eyes. Uh, might be all right for them, but what about me? When am I going to see my grandson, my son-in-law? How am I going to play pinochle and watch television? So then I got to figuring that maybe Malcolm would feel the same way about it. Jeepers, I'm sure going to miss him. Well, people and frogs are funny, Chip. Sometimes the only way to keep them is to let them go. Maybe if we get rid of that old cage, maybe he'll come back and visit us sometime. Yeah, maybe he would. Boy, he sure used to talk funny. Yeah. Er, 